So good morning children. Today we are going to discuss about the light energy that we are getting from our sun. That is a natural one. And uh, <coughs> sun is the nearest luminous body that is star and giving heat and light effect. Out of the light effect, light chapter, we are going to take as optics. And one is called ray optics, another is called wave optics. And ray optics we are going to discuss the factors Reflection, refraction, and a total internal refraction. So these three headings we are going to discuss in ray optics, and we are going to discuss in wave optics another three headings: interference. diffraction and polarization. Today we are going to discuss about what is called ray optics. Why there is a difference between ray optics and wave optics. In ray optics we are talking about the medium. One is rarer medium, another is called denser medium. And the example for rarer medium is nothing but air is the rarer medium. And the example for denser medium is nothing but our water and glass. And when the light travels from rare medium, it will travel the maximum speed of 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. But the same light travels in some other medium, denser medium, take for example water or inside the <coughs> glass, the speed will be reduced. That we call as a refraction. So, we want only one media, one medium for reflection and two media for refraction. And it is the application of the next heading, total internal reflection. And further we are going to decide, discuss about what is called reflection. That's why we consider a ball. The ball to be thrown on a ball, definitely it will come back. And the reflection, we want only one medium. That medium we call as a... Suppose the ray is falling on a glass piece or mirror. That angle of incidence is always with the normal and the reflection will be along the... or uh, we can say it is a reflected ray. And this ray we call as a incident ray. So as far as the reflection is concerned, we will give the heading reflection. Only one medium is enough. That is nothing but either rare medium or denser medium. The reflection, we have to calculate the angle of incidence only with the normal and angle of reflection only with the normal. Here I is equal to R, very very important condition. If we take 35 degree as angle and R also 35 degree. So this is the advantage of the plane mirror and we are going to discuss this is the three types of mirrors going to discuss here. One is plane mirror, another is concave mirror. Another is convex mirror. So out of three, we are going to discuss only the topic heading as reflection. What will happen to the characteristics of the plane mirror? Every day we are seeing, without seeing, we will not start any activity on the day before going to school. We will watch, we will face, we will check our face is correct or not with the plane mirror. So the plane mirror always produces and we have got the virtual image. Before that, I will discuss two types of images. The images can be classified into real, another is virtual. 
these are the two images of form on the basis of our plane mirror, concave mirror and a convex mirror. As far the plane mirror is concerned, always it will produce only the virtual image. The virtual image, what is the characteristics of our virtual image, it cannot catch on a screen. So we will enjoy the image but we are not able to catch on any screen. Just the opposite for real image, what we are operating camera, what we are operating video, everything, we can catch the image with the film or CD or anything. We can, now the digital is came and we can catch any image that is called real image. As far as the plane mirror is concerned, the plane mirror will produce only the real virtual image and it will never produce as real image. Let us go to the next one. What is called concave mirror? It is the one type of mirror. We take a spoon in our house. Just you take the portion just facing you and you see the face cut, it looks wrong and it will produce real as well as virtual images. That is the reason for that concave mirror. Just it is a form of a spherical part of a <coughs> circle. And a concave mirror is nothing but a spherical part of a spherical or a circle and it is called center of curvature and this portion we call as a pole of the mirror. When we join center of curvature and pole then this line we call as a principal axis. And this type of mirror always produces real and a virtual image that we are going to see when it will produce real image and when it will produce virtual image. surface inside that mirror we call as a concave mirror. I already told we have got here center of curvature and F. F is called focal and all the distances are measured only from the pole of the mirror. So when we talk about C and here it is nothing but twice the focal length. C or we can say 2F. Suppose we are keeping the object at 5 places, number 1, at the infinity. This is number one, we may object at the infinity. When the object is at infinity, we will get the image at focus. And second position, beyond 2F or beyond center of curvature, we will get the image on the real inverter on the same side. And third one, at 2F, or we are keeping or at the center of curvature, we will get the same size, uh, real, inverted, but inverted of the same size at 2F. So this is the way we are getting the object is moving towards the mirror. When it is coming here, as it is a second position, as it is a third position, And we are moving the object towards the mirror, that is number fourth one, between F and 2F. 